Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today you guys I'm going to share with you my makeup bag essentials. I've tried to make my makeup collection a little bit smaller so today I will show you all of the products that I love and carry with me when I need my makeup and I will also show you how I apply them. So first of all about the bag, this is the makeup bag that I absolutely love. I love that it's very compact and it's transparent so you can see what you're carrying. This one is from Cool Beauty but Muji do a very similar one so I will leave a link to them in the description box below. It's absolutely the perfect size and the first product that we have is a primer. I use the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This is more of a skincare primer and at the same time it does give you that really even skin tone and canvas to paint on top and fill in the pores. The second one is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder foundation or more of a BB cream. It's very light and the brush that I use with it is the Huda Beauty dual ended brushes. These are so handy and so easy and they just blend the product so beautifully. Foundation is just fantastic. You only need a little bit to hide any kind of bigger imperfections but it doesn't look cakey and it gives you a really gorgeous glowy look and and I find that it's just enough coverage for me um, and anything that it doesn't cover I cover it with a concealer which is actually next. I love the NARS Radiance Concealer. I would say that it's definitely medium to high coverage so you could do some pinpoint concealing if you wanted to cover some blemishes or maybe acne scars. I use a little bit of it under my eyes and then anything extra that stays on my brush I use around my nose and maybe on my chin where I have some little pimples and little scars but it's just great it's super smooth it applies so softly if I can say that so it's another essential of mine next we have the convertible color from Stila this is such a beautiful uh, cream blush I have it in color called Lilium and this is another dual ended brush from Huda Beauty that I use I use it for powder on this side and cream products on this side this is such a gorgeous cream blush. You can apply it with your fingers or you can apply it with a brush, but it blends into the skin beautifully. It melts in. It gives you that very fresh sun-kissed look. They do it in so many beautiful colors, but I think this one is definitely my favorite. You can also use it as a tint on your lips, which is great. And I also have another blush that I use just because it's a different shade. This is the Glossier Clown Paint in Beam. So this one is more of a peachier apricot color and sometimes I will use both sometimes I use one this kind of gives you a bit more sun-kissed tan look than the pinkier um, Stila one so I carry both of them and use them on my lips sometimes even on my eyes and it's such an easy product to use H&M cream shadow all of them are beautiful this one is my favorite um, in color Champneys it's so easy to use I literally stick my finger in the pot and apply it straight on my eyelids and even sound the skin tone and gives you a little bit of warmth and a little bit more definition on your eyes they do them in so many different shades so definitely check them out very affordable and if you're a lazy person like me who likes to apply makeup with fingers this one might be for you as well next we have powder Laura Mercier translucent powder I feel like it's such an iconic product by now I don't even know if I have to explain it I use a little bit of it under my eyes just to set the concealer and I powder a bit on my forehead sometimes on my chin just in the areas where I get a little bit oilier and to get rid of that extra shine but to be honest I haven't been reaching for powder too much so this one is just enough because it's almost invisible it doesn't cake it doesn't collect increases so this is my number one for sure next we have a brow product this is my Dior Show Styler pencil this has a tiny teeny tiny tip to draw a little hairs and it's also got a spoolie on the other side I find this the best pencil that I have ever used. I don't have a lot of brow hairs, 
So this just helps me to make them a bit fuller, draw some extra hairs and just makes them a bit more defined. And I use then the Benefit Gimme Brow on top just to brush my brows through. This has a little fibers in it so it kind of adds to the shape and to the fullness of your brow and the color matches my hair pretty well as well. Those are definitely my two favorite brow products. Next I have my bronzer and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. I definitely use this more for a bronzer than a highlighter, but it's just the perfect shade to warm up your skin, give you that tan look, to contour your face a little bit. I just go around the contours of my face, a little bit under the cheekbones. Sometimes I use it as an eyeshadow as well because I try to keep my makeup bag smaller or as small as I I can. Next up is my absolute favorite mascara. Since I tried this mascara, I haven't bought any other. This is the Kevin Aquan one and it has little fibers in it that make your eyelashes longer. I also use their eyelash curler. So together they are a perfect combination to have separated, long, defined lashes. And it doesn't smudge as well. It actually comes off in little strings. It's quite a strange thing, but it works really 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 well as far as longevity of it. Next I have my favorite lip oil. This one is from Clarins and they do it in a few different colors. I think this one is called Berry and it just gives your lips the most juicy plump look and it also moisturizes them and it's just super easy to use and you don't have to stay in lines of your lips so that is definitely an essential for me another lip gloss that i like is the dior addict lip glow it apparently it reacts to the unique chemistry of each woman's lips and gives you like a natural flush of a custom pink that suits everybody's skin tone i don't know if that's true but it works for me so the brushes are in and that is all of my essentials in my makeup bag and that is it for today you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if if you have any questions at all about the products that I showed you or about anything at all let me know if there are any other videos you want me to film and otherwise have a beautiful day thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and I will see you guys very soon in my next video